You're watching KMNH. Kids making the news happen with Emmy, Omer, Milo, Thaddeus, and Larkin. It's Kids Making the News Happen, a production of Happen Inc. and brought to you by Happen at Home. I'm Omer, and this is KMNH, Kids Making the News Happen, reporting from Satellite Studios. Today is March 24th. We can bring you the KMNH newscast because of your support. We want to thank again the English family for their support yesterday, and we thank Billy Dewey's for sponsoring today's newscast. You can sponsor KMNH News and other Happen Online programming as a BFF. BFF does stand for Best Friend Forever, and here at Happen, it means even more. BFF stands for business, family, or friend supporter. If you are a BFF and want to be a BFF donor for just $100 or more, you can keep Happen's online support happening. We will recognize and thank you on air for your donations. Just go to Happen's website, happeninc.org, and click on the Give a Gift and the Donation button and leave in the send a note area that you would like to be a KMNH sponsor. We want to thank you in advance for being a Happen BFF. I'm Larkin with today's KMNH weather report. Two days in a row with no rain and a high of 49 degrees. Tonight we will have rain after midnight with a low of 40 but the temps go up tomorrow with a high of 59 degrees. We were really looking forward to Friday with a high of 70 degrees, but the weather has changed again, now with only a high of 54 degrees. This has been your KMH weather update. Today's KMNH word of the day is someday. S-O-M-E-D-A-Y. The definition of someday is at some future point or day. Here are some words that rhyme with someday. Beret, betray, bikeway, birthday, broadway, buffet, child's play, DJ, freeway, and someway. There are lots of words that rhyme with the word someday. So instead of us reading a poem to you, we would like you to create a poem that incorporates the word someday. Send your poems to happeninc.org and I will read them on air on KMNH tomorrow. Hey there, I'm Coach Chris. I'm the chess club coach here at Happen. Uh, we've had a chess club for about a year now and um, We've uh, taught over 30 kids how to play chess, and we get together on Saturday mornings at 10.30, and they're just having a blast. It's a great opportunity for the kids to shut the screens down and use their brain a little bit instead of their thumbs to get things done in the day. So stick around. We'll talk about chess. We'll go over some of the basics, and uh, hopefully you can come up and join us at Chess Club someday. Okay, the next piece we're going to talk about is a bishop. The bishop uh, has the distinction of only moving in a diagonal fashion. So let's look at this bishop uh, on the queen side of your back row. He's on a black space. That means this bishop is going to be on black his entire life because he can only move in a diagonal position. If you look at the opposite side bishop, he's on a white space. He will only be on white for his entire life. He moves in a diagonal position. Bishops can go forward, they can go backward, they can capture a piece by moving diagonally, or they can simply advance as far diagonally until they uh, reach the desired position. Bishops move in a diagonal fashion. That's it. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by and learning a little bit about chess. 
Chess is a game that you can play anywhere, anytime, and you can share with uh, multi-generations. We hope you had a good time. See you next time. Have your parents lost their marbles yet? If not, then invite them to a game of what else but marbles. According to cubesource.org, marbles originated from ancient Rome and Egypt. The name marbles comes from the stone marble. In the year 1800, the best marbles were made out of alabaster, which was white marble. People wanted to use a cheaper material, though. They tried clay, but it crumbled when the marbles would hit each other. Finally, in 1846, a German glass blower invented special scissors that were used to cut glass and produce marbles. Marbles became cheaper and easier to manufacture, and now marbles are made in factories where hot glass is dropped into steel rollers that shape the glass into marbles. Players should choose a large marble to shoot, if they do, but they do not have to. If you want to play officially, your shooter should be no bigger than three-fourths of an inch, but any larger size will do so if you don't. There are several ways to shoot a marble, and certain games will require you to shoot a specific way. The easiest way is called fulking, spelled F-U-L-K-I-N-G. To use the fulking technique, place your shooter on your second knuckle of your forefinger. Your hand does not have to touch the ground. Then, place your thumb behind the marble and flick it, making it go forward. Another way is to shoot knuckle down. This is a technique that most tournaments and competitions use. If you're a beginner, you will find it a lot easier not to use knuckle down and instead to use fulking, but if you want to play serious marbles, you need to learn this one. Put at least one knuckle on the ground, sometimes all four, and place your shooter so that it rests between your second and first fingers. Curl your forefinger around the shooter and curl your fingers behind it. Then place your thumb behind the marble just like when you use the fulking technique. Then, just flick it out. Marbles are played around the world, and there are more than 100 variations of the game. Some popular marble games in the U.S. are Ringer and Old Bowler. Go to HappenInc.org and our Happen at Home Entertainment channel to get directions on how to start playing marbles today. Happen now has three streaming channels at HappenInc.org. Each channel is named after Happen's three E's, entertain, educate, and empower. You can check out Happen's 24-hour programming, including Happen's KMNH News. Don't miss our morning video made by kids in Happen's Lights, Camera, Learning, Action program. In the afternoon, there is always a Happen at Home art project and, of course, the evening KMNH News. We are working hard to bring you even more programming throughout the day with Happen at Home. Thanks for watching another segment of KMNH News. Special thanks to today's sponsor, Billy Dewey's, for making today's broadcast happen. Join us tomorrow for more news.